Hello. Hello, how are we? Hello. Welcome to uh, the Experimental Kitchen. My name's Ashley. Our menu was called Space Fuel and um, in it we had a starter, a main and desserts. The Astro Foodies had great ideas uh, for their space food. Uh, the menu was called Space Fuel. This savoury crumb croat layer, is that it? They <laughs> thought of the idea of freeze drying gravy. So if we freeze dry yeah. gravy and maybe rub that into the pastry dough, sort of make it a bit more interesting. Cool. The girls did a uh, space soup bar, which is sort of a bread casing with uh, tomato soup inside. Their ideas were so sort of out there and quite technical, they hadn't had a chance to sort of make them. So it was good for them to see some of their ideas come to life and actually eat it and taste it. So we uh, made a concentrated uh, tomato flavour with a uh, little thin, crispy uh, bread layer as well. It was really concentrated, so when we actually had it, it was like having a couple of spoons of tomato yeah. soup, it, it locked in that much flavour. So the girls came up with the idea of bite-sized planets, which is a brilliant idea. So we had this idea of having small little balls, which had all the our, um, puddings in it, which we decided were eaten mess, um, um, sticky toffee, toffee pudding, pudding and caramel, and when we actually saw the chefs come out with all these small balls. It was amazing because we came up with this idea, we had all these yeah, crazy us. ideas. Seeing them come to life was, um, yeah, was, was amazing. We used a, a sugar ball that we make here at The Duck uh, and we basically filled it with all those flavours. So some of the caramel, some sponge, strawberry, cream, custard for the trifle and some fresh raspberry. Sugar and yumminess. I can definitely yes. see the little yeah. desserts in either space or just being just sold or shot because yeah. they were just that good. It was amazing, amazing to actually make our ideas come to life.